show new up until now on a new character, but I'm at the stage where I really want to focus just on fleshing out the concepts and giving the character realism. Just really breathe some life into them. So, I knew I wanted to create a human female. I had the idea after getting some inspiration from a story I recently read that I wanted to make the character probably quite young, 14 or 15, and make her a little wild, a little feral maybe. Give her a strong primal en energy and try and portray that through a more completed painting. So, here is my character. I don't have a name for her yet, but I've got her design down pretty well. It's great to get inspiration for your designs from music, films, friends, or comic books, or experiences. Pretty much every original idea stems from something that's been done before. Don't feel like you're copying an idea if you're taking it in a different direction. Once you start to build a character up and expand their personality and work out their motives, their story, history, aspirations, etc., you'll quickly realize that they've changed dramatically from where you started with them. So that's kind of what the process of digital painting of a character is all about. You're exploring them in a new light, in a higher de uh, detail. You're making them real and complete and official. Uh, you're giving them a story through painting and it's extremely helpful when it comes to finalizing your concept that you do this. So one of the first stages to starting a painting is getting file sketches down completely freehand, just exploring the character by drawing pretty much anything you feel is relevant their expressions, postures, actions, the way they communicate or compose themselves. Sketch what you like and before you know it, you'll have a great idea for a finalized painting. Okay, I'm going to begin with some sketches. Now, before I worked on this um, front-facing design, I had a good amount of sketches done already, like we did before, sketches that explore different styles and variations. That's not what this sketching session is about. We've, we've done that and now we want to kind of give the character some finished sketches for her official design. So, once again, new layer. And yeah, so just begin drawing her in whatever, well, in your character in whatever way you feel is relevant. So, I'm going to start out with possibly a few expressions. Thinner brush. Okay, maybe a little thicker than that. There we go. So, like I said before, we have the character design down and we know exactly the way she looks, the anatomy, things like that. But now we just want to push her limits a little bit and hopefully come up with an idea for a finished painting. So I've explained my method of sketching before um, enough times at this point, so I'm not going to go into too much detail with how I draw faces, but on well, the rest of the body for that matter, but you'll get a pretty good idea of how well, you've seen how I've done that up until now. I've given her some quite stern looking um, eyes because I kind of want to be able to portray that wild side to her, that kind of feral side. Maybe she's from a post-apocalyptic kind of story or something like that, but I want to really portray kind of an animosity in her expression, or in her eyes at least. Sculpting the face is normally something I do kind of towards the end. I'll start out with a rough line to distinguish the outside, but I'll work into it towards the end. Just chisel everything out a bit. Her eyes are a bit too anime, so I'm going to just tone them down a bit, bring them a little bit smaller.
Now I will probably jump around quite a bit during this process because sketching like this isn't quick. And you do want to spend some time on your different ideas, so I'm just going to kind of jump in and out of different stages of this process. So I got the idea for um, this character from a book I read about two years ago, and it was all about feral children and um, trying to uh, socialize them and make them a member of society and things like that. And I've kind of had the inspiration to create a character that's maybe had a history, you know, alone or something like that. But it's been kind of climatized to human interactions and things like that. A problem that's quite common with drawing children is people accidentally will age them um, quite considerably. I know she's not exactly a child, she's 15, 14, maybe that age range, but um, it's very easy just to fall into giving her a woman's body, so I'm consciously trying not to. Okay, so there's one little sketch. I'm going to do maybe one of her snarling or screaming or just quite an extreme expression. Remember when the, um, the mouth is open, the face will um, contort? People tend to forget that, they'll have the same jaw structure and then with an open mouth it makes no sense, I mean the jaw would lower, obviously. Just try and keep that in mind when you're drawing expressions. Okay, so shouting kind of turned into, into laughing, but there you go. Oh, drawing hair like this is kind of, <laughs> you'd think it'd be easy, but. There we go, some crazy hair. Okay, let's do a few more um, body positions. Maybe she probably have her feral side come out quite a lot, so quite a lot of crouching and crawling and staying close to the ground. I'm going to try and experiment with that a little bit. So bringing the chest in kind of emphasizes hostility. And I'm going to bring one knee down and the other up. Um, just to create a pose that's a little bit more interesting than a normal squat. Rolling the shoulders forwards also creates an animalistic approach. Like this. And just bringing a curve to the spine. Okay, so I've jumped forward slightly. Um, I want to get a good collection of sketches, but not fill up too much lesson time doing it. Just doing some really quick... Uh, dynamic poses, try and portray her personality a little easier. Some more expressions. She has quite um, a lively personality I imagine, so very um, expressive and not afraid to express herself, so I'm just going to try and come up with some some of the more quirky expressions and um, pos uh, poses and stuff like that I can think up. Just 
imagine with her hair pushed back, she has some quite big ears. <laughs> so I'm going to try and show that in this drawing. So like that. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Some random freehand sketches I've done for the character to try and decide what I'm going to do with a digital painting. I think I like the idea of a profile painting more focused on the face and the expression. So I'm likely going to work with um, probably this drawing here. Uh, in the next lesson, I'll start planning out some speed paints to get some colour theory down, as well as focusing on composition.